So I woke up super sick this morning, just like super congested as you can hear. Uh, still gonna record today, it's like three o'clock. I've been like just laying up, laying low, sleeping all day. But still gonna record because I'm dedicated. But <clears throat> I think today we have back and triceps. I'm on like a new split that I've seen on um, TikTok. And it's like day one is chest, shoulders, and biceps, And then it's back and triceps. And then it's legs. And then it's shoulders and arms and then rest, I think is what it was. Yeah, that's right. Um, and then you repeat, obviously. Uh, but I think what they were trying to say is the goal is to try and hit every muscle group twice over like a 10 to 11 day period. And then you rest, obviously. And you try and really focus on recovery. But if you guys can see in my training, uh, usually most of the time in the videos, I'll record like one set of each exercise. I do two sets or three sets. Um, it's usually a warm up set and then two sets to failure. And I usually record like the heaviest or the top set for each clip, but that's kind of how I've been training and how this split's supposed to work is you take everything to failure. Um, just like work out as hard as possible pretty much. Cause that's why like in push pull legs and Arnold and stuff like that, I guess you hit everything twice over um, a six or seven day period. And this one you're doing five days and you're like, it's less sets, but you recover faster, I guess. I don't know. I don't know the science and everything behind it, but I'm just following it and it's been working. So yeah. so. I don't know what the plan is for this workout. I'm probably gonna go at like seven when the the gym isn't as busy. But um, for now, I'm just gonna chill. I might like video whatever I eat next and stuff like that. And at that point, I'll see you at the gym. So yeah. So one thing about trying to put on weight while already kind of being like watery, I guess, is like, I have noticeably seen like a difference in how I fit in my clothes and stuff like that. And it pisses me off because like, I don't wanna be this fluffy, but if I'm gonna compete next year, I have to like, do that you know like I have to put on size <sighs> so I'm like 209 pounds and like before I started this bulk I got all the way down like 185 so it's rough out here <laughs> it's rough out here um obviously I haven't been the cleanest with it I need to be more clean with like what I eat and stuff like that it could be better but um the calories have been roughly the same so it wouldn't make that much of a difference but I'm about to go destroy um triceps and then back um and yeah, another pain I have is the Gymshark cutoffs are like, or yeah, the cutoffs or tanks are like way better fitting than the Young LA ones. Like, I don't know why, I just like, ever since I got a Young LA one, I just love the Gymshark ones more. This is so cleaner in my opinion. But I look better from the side angle too, but yeah. I also like hate wearing stringers. Like I have gyno, so like my like nipples protrude like way more out here. So when I have a stringer on that's meant to cover the nipple for like the normal people, mine just like pops out. And I can't do anything about it because they don't make stringers for people with gyno and I'm heavier. So <laughs> um, you guys might get the impression that I'm like heavy and I don't really work out, but I'm strong. I mean, I don't know if uh, there's many clips of me on YouTube, but on TikTok, I just hit 235 for eight on bench, which is like an all time PR. I'm 16 years old. I'm gonna go for 315 this year. Hopefully I'll be able to get it pretty soon. Um, I could probably hit like 285 right now. So I'm just gonna keep working that up as I get strong. And best believe when I when I compete, <laughs> it's gonna be a completely different world out here. And I guarantee I'll get some attention from the internet. So yeah, I'm about to head to the gym, gonna put on my socks and then we'll go there. I'm gonna double scoop some pre, it's like six o'clock and we should get some good clips, so let's go.
She wants to eat. She wants to eat the food. She definitely wants to eat. Oh my gosh. Food style, come on. Good girl. All right, so we're headed off now. Um, sorry, AC might be a little loud. We're about to hit 100 subscribers soon, which obviously is not a very big milestone, but it keeps me humble because I'm not I'm not even there yet. And for it to not be a big milestone is like makes me want to work harder a little bit. So. I do want to appreciate or just say thank you to you guys for supporting even though like i'm not really doing it for the money or the clout or anything it's literally just for me it's a document to whenever when i'm older i can just see like my whole timeline of just like how i've progressed and like how i've documented every single minute of it you know um that's kind of the goal especially with competing like i can't not wait to like document that whole series and just like when i'm older like 30s or 40s or whatever it may be and I have kids I can show them like that whole process of when I was a 16 17 year old competing and winning you know that's what it means to me it's like that's why I enjoy it and obviously the community and everything comes with that but like the community doesn't matter until you have a community you know that's how I see it so right now I'm doing it just for me and there are, a lot of the videos are raw and uncut. I don't put a lot of time into editing them. It is literally just raw footage for me. And for those that like that, like the Samsung like type stuff, then stick around. But um, yeah, if you're, if you're looking for someone who is like really, really sole purpose is to put out entertaining content for your, like for a certain type of viewers, then that might not be me because I'm doing it for me that's like the only reason that I'm on this app right now is for the long form content for the future when I can look back so I have a true meaning for it I don't care about the money it'd be a nice plus but I don't care about it I don't I don't care about monetizing them or anything the videos the videos don't have to be 10 minutes long all that all that type of bullshit you know but yeah I do want to say thank you though for getting me almost to 100 subscribers and I'm gonna put in my all for this workout today. I might be sick, but I don't care. I'm still gonna put in the work, so yeah. Okay, I just thought a little bit about that last clip of what I said. Um, what I meant by that is like, this channel's for me and is to like inspire other people like what I'm doing. Like if I'm working out and putting all my effort into my business and me and everything, I hope that inspires the viewers to do the same for themselves, you know? But like, I'm, I'm not here to make you guys happy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm here to benefit myself as much as my con like my content should be benefiting you guys, not for entertainment, but for self-improvement and just benefit in general, you know? That's what I kind of meant. It wasn't, I'm not trying to be selfish or anything, obviously, because you watch me for a reason, but yeah. All right, back to the gym. So then let's consider, first of all, what is a mind in the grip of vicious circles? Well... One of the most obvious instances that we all know is the phenomenon of worry. The doctor tells you that you have to have an operation. And that has been set up so that automatically everybody worries about it. But since worrying takes away your appetite and your sleep, it's not good for you. But you can't stop worrying and therefore you get additionally worried that you are worrying. And then furthermore, because that is quite absurd and you're mad at yourself because you do it, you are worried because you worry because you worry. That is a vicious circle. So now, can you allow your mind to be quiet? Isn't it difficult? Because the mind seems to be like a monkey, jumping up and down and jabbering all the time. Once you've learned to think, you can't stop. And an enormous number of people devote their lives to keeping their minds busy and feel extremely uncomfortable 
with silence. When you're alone, nobody's saying anything, there's nothing to do. There's this, this worry, this uh, lack of distraction. I'm left alone with myself and I want to get away from myself. I'm always wanting to get away from myself. That's why I go to the movies, that's why I read mystery stories, that's why I go out to, to girls or anything that you do or get drunk or whatever. I don't want to be with myself. I feel queer. So, well, why do you want to run away from yourself? What's so bad about it? Why do you want to forget this? Why do you want to become yourself? Because you are addicted to thoughts. It's a drug. You think it's Compulsive thinking, like on and on and on and on and on all the time. It's a habit. So, there's a difficulty about stopping that activity. And you really have to stop it if you want to be sane. Because if I talk all the time, I don't hear what anyone else has to say. Then I'll end up in the situation of having nothing to talk about but my own talking. Or so in exactly the same way. If I think all the time, I won't have anything to think about except thoughts. So in order to have something to think about, there are times when you simply must stop thinking. Well, how do you do that? The first rule is don't try to. Because if you do, you will be like someone trying to make rough water smooth with a flat iron. And all that will do will stir it up. So in the same way as a muddy, turbulent pool quiets itself when left alone, you have to know how to leave your mind alone. It will quiet itself. Now I want you to repeat after me, please. We've got to recondition our minds first. Let us say together, good things are supposed to happen to me. Yeah, write that down. I want you to say that to yourself every day. See, we live in a world where we believe that bad things are supposed to happen to us. I remember at a point in my life, Bishop, when things are going good for me, and I said, this is too good to be true. Something is bound to happen. Guess what? It did. Thou shalt decree a thing that shall be established unto you and shall accomplish that whereunto it has been sent. Watch your words. Watch what you say about yourself about your affairs. Be conscious of that on a daily basis. Why? Because your words are powerful. In the beginning was the word. Life and death is in the tongue. Watch what you say. Never say I'm broke. Say I'm overcoming a cash flow problem. <laughs> Claim what you want, not what you don't want. So affirm good things are supposed to happen to me and begin to believe that. Begin to I still can't believe I have that. this much definition at 209 pounds. Now, Pump is I was unreal. To my oh my gosh, that echo band is crazy. Calvin, I'm gonna get the camera out here a little bit. Just need that area free first. And I said, Calvin, do you want to be successful? He said, yes, sir, Dad. It's okay. He kept on walking. Then I stopped and I looked him in the eyes. It's my namesake, my junior. I said, Calvin, we're looking at each other eye to eye now. Do you expect to be successful? Given the fact that you are a single parent of two kids, given the fact that you decided not to go to college to further your education, given the fact that you are very talented, but you're behind on your dreams and your bills, do you expect, based upon your performance, based upon what you produce at this point in time in your life, do you expect to be successful? And Calvin got quiet. Because see, if you ask most people at the Manpower Conference, do you want to be successful? Do you want to live a life of productivity? Do you want to live a life of contribution? Do you want to be a better father? Do you want to have your own business? Are there dreams you want? Everybody will say yes. But see, want shows up in conversation. Expectation shows up in behavior. See, I can... This is post-workout. I did some uh, rope crunches that I didn't record and some overhead extensions that I didn't record. But 
that's what we're looking like. I got some camera clips, so I'll pop up next. Long head is taking over. That 209 is crazy. 16. Not compete with that. In a piece, skinny bone, skinny bone. Used to hit that bitch up off a mini phone. Ain't forget when you act like you wasn't home. Late night with the gang, right? We on FaceTime. She told me to pull up in a late pipe. I told Shotty, slow down. I'm in hang time. She told me, nigga, fuck that. Make sounds. Kush, kush, do the dance to her crib. I'm really hoping that her dad let me in. When I put up in the driveway, I'm a hard time. And I'm hoping I don't crash in the bitch. Thinking, fuck that. I'm a hit and dash on the bitch. But I wouldn't put a lie. Wow, so we just finished up. Um, that was an hour and a half, I think. Wild. Um, that Echo Vision pre workout is a game changer. I skipped school today, and after taking that, I still was able to work out for an hour and 30, hour 40 minutes, which is insane. It was one of those days where I just like kept, keep wanting to do more. Like The stuff I filmed that you guys saw was like maybe an hour in, then I trained a lot of abs, and then did some more triceps. Um, just because I'm trying to prioritize some things on this bolt. But that's crazy, bro. An hour and 40 minutes on a day where I skipped school because I was sick. Insane. I don't know how I was able to do it. But um, yeah, so I recommend you guys pick up some Echo Vision stuff. I'll put a link in the description. I'm not affiliated or anything. Obviously, obviously I'm not a big enough creator to be affiliated anyway, but I'd love to be. But um, yeah, so that's going to be it for the video. I'm going to go home and shower and try and rest because I was supposed to be sick today. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching and this makes episode three.